Hello everyone. This is Chakra Zohi Kyoku, aka Chocomet, and welcome back to our let's play of The Witch and Her Assistant. In the last episode, we have finished the route of Zale. I wonder if I am、um, saying the name right. And this time, we're continuing to the route of the other person. Whose name I may or may not know. So, based on the personality of、uh, Zaylee in the last round,、um, is a good time to choose another option that may fit. The other person's personality better because I'm pretty sure those two will have、uh, different personalities, like opposite of each other, or some、uh, distinctive difference. So reliable from the get-go. I'll refer a quick learner talented enough to be my apprentice, someone capable of assisting me with potions and remedies. I like being dependent on, but I will appreciate partnering with someone I trust to share my workload. Imagine that, Sally. The owner becoming a teacher sounds rather cool, no? Though, the it's skippable. My name is Shukura. A cozy cottage would be suitable for、uh, was I there actually the last time I chose somewhere near the water. But let's try the cozy cottage just to see what it talks about. A cozy cottage. I love a trip to a cottage since fresh forest air is so soothing. I love hiking there since the town is close enough to see mom and grandma whenever I want. Wild traveling sounds fun. What if I discover I prefer staying in my comfort zone? Let's finish my mountain of work before taking our vacations. But I can't work properly with my storage so empty. Come on, Sally. There's no time for daydreaming. The witch donned her hat. A tiny familiar leaped into her bag, and they strolled outside. With this rain, it's a bad idea to stray too far from the house. Let's gather ingredients near the river for now. It will be boring soon. I should hurry so I don't get drenched. The witch crept over her paws. Puss, 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 paw, paw, puss. It's much at the salamander. I hate the rain. Why not wait for me inside? Burst, burst, yeah, burst. Her familiar answer with a little cry before burying it, burying itself into the bag. Are you sure? Now's her last chance to change her mind. Sally's next cute cry made her giggle. All right, all right, let's go then. The woods surrounding the cottage are safer than those that border the demon lands. The demons themselves are bad per se, but the immoral ones roam those territories. Poor things. The demons and their ancestors result from the first angel's failed experiment. Warriors meant to serve in the war of the angels two thousand years ago. It was a colossal disaster, from what I've heard. Hopefully, we won't witness another one. But rumors suggest there are small groups of demons rebelling here and there, and heaven knows how much angels vowed defiance against the kingdom. Their top-ranked people are too controlling, in my opinion, and their leaders actively discourage change. That improve things. It sounds stressful to be an angel nowadays. Though, 
I wonder how things were in the beginning when they were the old species. I think the reason why they don't encourage change because they are used to the fact that、um, they have the super superiority, or uh, uh, in the time when they're the oldest species and they have power over everything. I should learn more about them when I have time. Their history must be fascinating. After a few minutes of gathering herbs, the witch took stock of her findings, then gazed skyward. The raindrops grew by the second, and Shokura frowned after one of them fell between her eyes. The witch donned her hood and dashed toward the river bank. Quick, else I'll turn into a wet mop. At last, the grass was slippery. And the witch had no bushes to prevent herself from tumbling into the river. After hitting her head against a tree trunk on the way down, that is.、Um, that sounds painful. It took a while before the witch opened her eyes, and longer still until she was coherent. I hope I'm not having any brain damage after that. Once she was aware of her surroundings again, she noticed two things. The first was that it rained everywhere except on her. Her clothes and skin were dry, as the downpour battered everything else. She squinted, perplexed, before she realized that a thin, almost transparent veil protected her from the storm. Her second observation was the humanoid creature observing her with his four eyes. His skin and tail were covered with blue scales, and his hair, which danced elegantly like waves forming on the shoreline, had a life of its own. Unless you're awake, how are you feeling? Hello, pretty boy. I mean, like super, super pretty boy. With a lot of ears, ears, uh, hair. I don't know. It looks like fan, and usually those fans mean ears, but it would mean he has like six ear. Maybe to listen to people, people better. I don't know. <laughs> I like his hair though. It's really watery. It looks liquid. Hey, that's really nice. And he has four eyes to look at us better. <laughs> he just don't have a wolf snout or something like that. <laughs> Shukara flinched with a gasp. Ah,、uh, oh no! Don't worry, I'm harmless. Sorry if I scared you. That wasn't my intention. The witch blinked, then smiled apologetically. Ah,、uh, sorry. I was a bit surprised. I just have a little bum, I think. Thanks for asking. Um, how am I dry when the last thing I remember was falling into the river? Are you the one who helped me? I did. Yes. But I'll have missed you falling into the river if this little one didn't yell like a dying wolf. Shokura lowered her head to see Sally resting on her lap. Thank the gods, she's safe. Seems she can't swim, so yelling was her only option. That must have been exhausting, poor Sally. No wonder she's so tired now. There's that, but she was adamant that I was some villain, and scratched up my body while I was rescuing you. Ah, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Sally's small, but she's protective whenever she thinks I'm in danger. That's cute. That's cute. So her name's Sally. May I ask for yours? Oh, my name. 
is Shokara. That's a peculiar name. I've never heard it before. Does it sound otherworldly? Is it? Because I'm pretty sure it just means so chocolate. But sure. <laughs> I like the rain of it. It sounds like the human names you hear in fairy tales. Same goes for your friend here. My father was a huge fan of the theory that humans exist, and that perhaps angels have something to do with humans. If they never existed, then we wouldn't have words like, I mean, wrong voice. If they never existed, then we wouldn't have words like. Human noise or human like in our vocabulary, right? His expression changed a bit when she mentioned.、Uh, she said it though.、Hmm. But nobody's ever seen a real living human. They are only mentioned in fairy tales. Despite that, my father's love for this folklore beings inspired my name. He adored and believed in them. But I don't, not anymore. The witch savior leaned closer, his gaze intent, his brows raised. Are you wondering why I'm speaking in past tense? I admit I'm curious, but I didn't want to cry. It's okay. It's just, well, my father disappeared during an expedition for humans. I don't believe in that word, but thinking he hopped through a dimensional skit to beat them is the only solace for me. For we never found his body. I'm sure he made it. I believe in the human word as well, so maybe he discovered a gay. He's probably living his dream right now. Maybe. By the way, I've overshared about my life to a total stranger whose name I don't know. Right, I know yours. It's only fair if you know mine. My name Mirren, but you can call me Marine, 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 Marine. Okay, Mar Marine, Marine. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for saving me, Mer. And the witch glanced at the transparent veil for protecting me from the rain. Are you doing that? Yes, and I draw you off when, from when you fell into the river. It's odd, but drying things is easy for my kind. I also place the berries and herbs back into your bag. Ah,、uh, that's so nice of you. Thanks a bunch. In any case, I should return home now. I have a lot to do, and I'm afraid my accident has delayed things. Shokura took Sally into her pocket, collected her bag, and stood. Also, she talked. Oh, my hand. Ah,、uh, it hurts. Careful. You shouldn't stand up so hastily. Are you dizzy? Here, let me escort you home. No, I couldn't. I insist. You're too unsteady to return on your own. It's dangerous. Hop on your, hop on my back. I'll carry you. I mean, I mean, he's offer, he's offering. So let's. Let's be polite and accept. Not that、uh, another intention is to invite him back to my home. <laughs> accept. I hate to admit it, but I think you're right. Then please wait a minute. I'll change my skin texture to make the ride comfortable for you. You can do that. Marine smirked. Oh, I can do a lot of things with my body.、Uh, maybe I have a black 
black mine, but that sounds weird. Out of contest. <laughs> Excuse me. Shocker has snorted. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, she, I, I. It seems that uh, someone has the uh, same thought as me. <laughs> oh dear. This sentence out of context might be misunderstood. Did he do that on purpose? Let's not have weird talk about his words when about to write him. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, this is the. Okay, this is the second time. In another row, it was kind of funny as this game a sense of humor, but. <laughs> okay, this is great. <laughs> the witch did what she was told and settled on Mer's back. Alright, I'm ready. Sorry again for this. It's no trouble. Hmm? 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 Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. I see nothing of the witch at all. And that's a strange um like camera angle. Yeah, it's a really strange camera angle. Aren't you comfortable enough? I hope my skin doesn't feel gross. Oh, don't worry about that. It's smoother than I thought. <laughs> I love your honesty. Uh, shall I speak politely as well? Compared to you, I'm... No, I find your casualness refreshing. Then, can I even be even more casual? I'm not good at being ladylike. Please do. Then... You may be casual with me too. Oh, dry. The witch relaxed against Marie's shoulders. Her new friend was nimble and muscular. His movement suited her like the sway of a rock and cradle. Soon enough, her eyelids were heavy. Are you perhaps falling asleep? Yeah. Hits in my head really knocked me out. No pun intended. Then rest. Can I? Mirin, mirin, mur, mur, mir, mir, mur. Of course. I'll do that then. Thanks. She yawned and tapped the familiar in her pocket. Sally, sweetheart, can you show mur the way home, please? Mir, mir, mur. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure the pronunciation is correct or not, but I'm gonna pronounce it my way. The little salamander nibbled on the with fingers before hopping onto the road, determined to fulfill her new duty. Thank you, there. Soon they arrived in the garden outside the witch's cottage. We're right. Are you feeling better? Yes. Thanks to you, I could rest properly. That's good. The witch dismounted with Mer's gentle assistance. Do you need anything else? Just say the word and I'll do my best. Ah, uh, that's nice of you, but I'm good now. Will you have some time to come inside for a beverage? I want to thank you. Sure, out like that. And inside the beer went, though the witch smiled sharply at her guest. I'm sorry if it is so cramped and messy. It's alright, this has occurred to her. <laughs> My mother would disagree with you, she likes things organized. She'll freak out if she saw the space now. It was tidy when she still lived with me. The witch strode into the kitchen, while her guest waited in the newfound silence on her couch. What else was there to do? Discuss Merman! Let's talk about him talk about himself. 
Maybe we could learn more about him. You're a merman, right? That's right. I heard your species is sensitive to cold weather, and that you habitually migrate to warmer waters around this time of the year. So I thought a hot drink, a suitable thank you before your journey. I appreciate that. I was freezing outside, but it's warm inside your cabin. Chocolate pointed toward the old fireplace and smiled. I've charmed the fireplace, so it remains to ideal temperature all day long. I'm proud I managed it. I've never encountered anything similar, so maybe I'll resent it to the committee after some revisions. Who knows? If I accept it, it might become one of the biggest inventions of the century. It's a brilliant invention with Brewer Bill. It'll do well. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's never worked underwater, no matter what I tried. You've considered Merfolk as your demographic too? That's kind of you, but the Merfolk are frail beings, especially my tribe. I heard there are count countless Merfolk tribes. What's yours like? Maybe I heard of them in books. They're barbaric. Stubborn and uphold cruel traditions. I dislike being around him personally. Uh, oh, seems like it's a sensitive topic. Maybe I shouldn't bribe. Uh, also, is hot soup okay with you for your drink? I grow the vegetables myself in the garden you saw before the house. Oh. I've never tried dishes other than what my tribe prefers, and whatever I found during my travels. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm trying not to disappoint you. You won't. I'm sure of that. Shogura happily finished preparing the food with a satisfied smile on his face, and after a few minutes, she returned and sat in front of Mer. Here you are. It smells delicious. I can't wait to taste it. Finger frost, you like it? I'm sorry it took so long. Am I eating up too much of your time? Are you worried about my migration schedule? Yes. Aren't other merfolk waiting for you? No. I'm traveling alone, so I have all the time in the world. Alone? I'd rather not be involved with my dry members. You don't sound fond of them. You heard right. Our beliefs are too different for us to coexist. You see, there's always been cold-hearted conquerors who murder those standing in their way. And they don't feel an ounce of guilt about it. They're the worst. That's their tradition, and they won't change it. I've understood that since I was a child. Peace and negotiation are against their way of life. I try to convince them there are better methods than violence to solve problems. I did, but it was in vain. I was an outcast, even among the folks who claimed they understood me. They sentenced me to death for my idealism. What? This dream, isn't it? But, but, oh wait, no.、Um, I'm pretty sure it's、uh, Mer still talking, but、uh, I don't know why、um, our character's name show up. <laughs> But that's all they are. I was powerless against it. Fortunately, I escaped. They were naive and assumed pacifists are also pushovers. They figured I would accept the sentence without issue. Did you encounter any problems escaping? No, I ran as fast as I could, following the initial scuffle.
Did you have any other choice? Unfortunately not. I loathe violence. But to escape, I didn't have any choice but to use it. Else I wouldn't be here talking with you. But your own family, how could they treat you like that? I never considered them family, for they never considered me anything other than a figurehead to perpetrate all traditions. That's terrible. It's strange to consider people could kill members of their own family. But I understand. There are a lot of different people and situations. I shouldn't presume my experience are universal. It would be a dream come true for me if everyone was happy, but it's because of those differences that our world is so beautiful. I agree, and if it reassures you, it was my grandfather who wanted me dead. For the others, punishing me was enough. Honestly. I'm more worried about my greeting. I'll stumble into them eventually while traveling, and I won't have a second chance to escape. Yet, I won't survive winter if I don't migrate. Oh, then why not stay with me? Oh, that's smooth. That's smooth. Wow, what what a smooth invitation. Let's. It's like a smooth, super smooth invitation, um, a convenient invitation to live together. Roommates, yay! Oh, 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 oh! He opened his eyes. Who, who? Looking cute, looking cute. Super cute, dang. Pardon? I mean. Since you don't have anywhere else to go, why not spend a cold season here in my cottage? Dang, I keep looking at uh at his eyes. It's so cute. Like uh, when he closes his eyes, that are is already cute, and when he opens his eyes, it's also cute. I'll keep calling uh, everyone in. I I I think I'm keep calling everyone cute in here. <laughs> That's kind of you, but I might reconsider your offer. You might, I mean, you might reconsider your offer. Why? I think I owe you a more detailed explanation of myself, about myself. Will it influence my decision? I'm certain of it. I'm listening. Very well. I'm the prince of a royal Merfolk lineage, one of the largest in this world. Okay, why do we keep meeting princes? Like, why why couldn't they be normal people? I guess um our protagonist here is um a prince magnet. Yes. Okay, that's not. That's not a, a, a any bun at all. Okay, <laughs> but anyway, but seriously, she attracts so many princes. Prince, I mean prince, not princess. I mean, uh, 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 they could be princess if we wanted to. <laughs> I see. I'm surprised your expression hasn't changed. Well, to be fair. I guessed you were important thanks to your demeanor and high quality clothes. I hadn't assumed you were royalty though, and you didn't point it out earlier. You hadn't mentioned it, so I figured it wasn't my place to talk about. Aren't you too calm considering what you've learned? I mean. You said it was okay for me to be casual with you, right? Yes. And you aren't really a prince anymore since you'll be dead or disinherited if you return. So, I insist. Come live with me. Let's live together. 
This sounds really strange considering it's just mad blood. Okay. My offer stands, even after hearing about your background. Besides, I couldn't let you freeze after escaping an undeserved death sentence. That's true. Then is there any reason for you to decline? No. If I may, I'll accept your offer again. Great! Shokura glanced at her bag on the table and sighed. I should work now that I feel better. Shouldn't you rest more? No, my tasks are too urgent. They can't wait. Thanks again, by the way. The berries I collected were rare. I'll be in trouble if I lost them in the river. Yes, I know to stare the time for severe injuries and other health issues. I hope you're okay. Oh, no, no, it's not for me. It's for one of my clients. Clients? Yes, I run a potion and remedy business here to save money and pay my tuition. I'll offer to help with that matter. Alas, I'm afraid my name is no longer worth anything. It's okay. I've outmanaged by myself for so long. I can do it. You seem independent. I'll hope so, but honestly, I still have much to learn and attending the mighty magical academy is one of my last goals. And you're ambitious. I love your determination. Thanks. But don't forget to rely on others when you need it. I don't know about that. Though, I welcome your help while I was dizzy. And you can rely on me for anything else you need. The remedy you made with those berries, for example. Would you like my assistance with it? You know how to make it? I do. Wow, I've tried several times in vain. I even attempted growing the berries in my garden because I'll need more. Not to worry then. I'll show you how to make the potion and help you grow the plants in your garden. Really? Wow. Mer glanced around the room. Could I could do the chores as well, if you're too busy with your work. Having a second pair of hands never hurts, right? True. Should I take that as approval to help you? Yes. How curious. Earlier, I thought I'll be thrilled to have help around here, and boom! Here you are. At your service. We'll learn a lot from each other. Uh, I can't wait. Plus, with all this new knowledge, maybe I'll become a top-ranking student at the academy. <laughs> If it makes you happy, it will be my pleasure. Well then, I'm in your care. Likewise, things will be interesting for the both of us starting now. Now, now, let's start our first study section, shall we? <laughs> nice, very nice. This should be the end of our let's play of the witch and her assistant. It is a short and sweet game that gives me diabetes. I really enjoy the humor of each route. It makes me laugh a lot. Or it, it is just me who is a, a I am a child who loves a stupid stuff. But um, it's a great game. I recommend it. Everyone playing it. So, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next let's play. Bye bye.